Welcome engineers, so it's ever a problem, and today's problem is the Portuguese Miami Grand Prix, the Portuguese Grand Prix was two episodes ago. If you did not check out the previous episode, um, check out the card in the top right corner because spoilers in 3, 2, 1. We did a time trial around Miami and Canada, setups were less than ideal, most of the best laps were in the middle of the session, which is not what you want uh, to be saying coming out of a time trial session where you're making a setup. Um, so for this one, Miami, we won the world cha uh, we won the previous championship at this race last season, um, although it was the penultimate round. So um, we won't be able to do that this season, but we could give ourselves a good shot to win it within the next couple of se races. Um, so yeah, let's go straight into the practice with the um, first lap. I was wondering why there's no audio, it's because I turned it off um, for a previous video, because uh, I don't really need to listen to it anymore. Through turn one, nicely done. Uh, really seems a little bit stable, getting a little bit of wobble coming out of the first couple of corners. Going through the end of sector one, little bit of corrections through each corners, going away at the wheel several times, not really what you want, so we should sort that uh, for qualifying, hopefully we do. Um, I believe the forecast did say it was going to be dry throughout, um, but unfortunately for me, um, just as if it couldn't get worse, it decided it was going to rain for quali. Um, the forecast changed uh, in between the two races, which is how uh, what often happens. Uh, when I mean two races, I mean this one in Portugal. Through sector two, the end of sector two, not too bad on the rear, so the hard's actually quite good. Uh, going down the back straight then, waiting for the 100 metres, of course. And then we can test out the rear, uh, see if it's stable, 100 meters, a little bit deep, good on the power on the exit, although I don't know about wheel spin, up to the line, 31.3 P2, would be nice if it was a little bit quicker, uh, we got there with the softs though, 29.3, 7 tenths off for stopping in first, uh, and Lando down in ninth. but it should be fine. Uh, we normally pick up the pace as we go to quali. So let's go straight to quali. Unfortunately, like I said, it is wet for the first part. Intermediates. First lap put us on a 40.7 P2. Um, and obviously, we go again like I normally do in the wet weather. 40.2 again. Um, staying P2 this time uh, for that lap. In the end, we did risk it. Not one even. Uh, must have invalidated that second lap. In the end, we risk it with a 40.7, 7 tenths off P1 uh, max with Lando in 6, but we survived and we are able to move into Q2. Uh, if you're wondering why I am quiet, it is midnight at this uh, for me. Into Q2, uh, nicely done for the first lap. We have to go out again for a second lap because the uh, wet weather became dry. Do a 28. Uh, get ourselves P1 by 9 tenths of a second to Lewis in second this time. Max down in 6th, Lando down in 8th. Uh, so not quite able to get the full advantage over Max, but it's fine. Five drivers knocked out were Alex, Sonoda, Ricardo, Perez and Joe Guan Yu. So, conditions, catching out a few people. Most of them being the usual suspects, so. Albon, uh, not one of them. Into Q3 then, uh, first lap puts us P1 with a 28.7, pretty good lap, only a tenth to max though in second so we will have to go again, we are losing four tenths somewhere in the first sector, don't know how I'd have to change that now in, in between quality sessions and for the race, the only way I could think is probably more front wing. Um, don't want to sacrifice straight line speed too much though, so I don't know. I think we'll just have to leave it. 
and anyway, we go back out. Um, obviously, a tenth is not going to be enough, so we go again. Into turn one, break for the 100 meters where that board is going a little bit deep, missing the apex. Um, just a bit, get over, stay in the middle of the circuit for turn two, slingshot ourselves straight into turn three, and then we head towards the end of sector one. 50 meters is where you're looking for, basically, where that marshal zone is. Keep as close to the curb as you can. Try and go fluid motion in between the apexes. Breakers you get in between the stands on the right hand side. And out through into sector two. We have already dropped down into P2, so this lap is crucial for pole position here. DRS, keep left as much as you can. And as you get to Pirelli, drift over to the right. 100 meters was where we're looking for. Break down. Hit the apex a little bit too early on the turn in, but it should be fine as we go through right hander. Keep as right as you can, drift over to the apex on the exit though, once you can see it. Through the chicane, a little bit uh, pointy on the first part. Might lose us a little bit of time, but we get a little bit of understeer through the last part as well, losing possibly a couple of tenths. Only up by two and a half tenths, and no, no, no idea who's P1 and how much they're ahead by. Accidentally knocking the controller, that might not help. 100 meters, make sure the wheel takes back control. Hit the apex beautifully, get out, lay the power down. No wheel spin, pretty good. Again, we get to the line, looks like it's going to be 410 for improvement. And it's pole position for Miami Grand Prix. That's how you do it. 18 milliseconds, that lap was crucial. Thank God the mistakes that we did make weren't too bad. Um, obviously, I did not explain earlier, um, purely because I assume that you watch pre uh, previous episodes, which is actually not a good thing to assume, um, but my audio broke from episode 90, episode 90, was it 90 or 91, uh, from episode 90 onwards. Uh, and I don't get it back until uh, episode 104. And when I mean or, um, audio break, I mean my headphones broke, and so you didn't get uh, the streams didn't get any of my mic. Uh, so you should still be getting game audio. Strategy seems to be a simple one: two stop, medium, soft, soft. Although hards felt good in practice, and so maybe in hindsight it would be good idea to use them. Not going to in the end though, um, obviously because two mediums and a soft, uh, two, two softs and a medium. You'd be stupid to go for anything different really. Um, but we do need an alternate strategy just in case, so we are going to set that up with um, two mediums and a soft instead. Probably could have tried it um, with a one stop medium hard. Um, but to be fair, would that have been able to get within a second of the two-stop? Probably not. So let's go to the race. I'll catch you afterwards. Let's go to extend our championship lead. Should be easy. Hopefully. I don't know. Miami's not my best.
contents of app. Virtual safety car, virtual safety car. Reduce speed immediately and keep a positive delta. Right, drop your speed. Our delta's too low and we're going to risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately.
to stay with them. They might make a mistake and we could still regain the position. Okay, mate, 
that's it, go, go, go. That was a fantastic stop, faster than we were expecting. All right, we'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in this strategy. Okay, we've got a full course caution, the safety car's out. Keep an eye on the delta, we need to keep it positive to avoid a penalty. Slow down, maintain positive delta. Right, drop your speed, our delta's too low and we're gonna risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Lap. Safety car in this lap. Let's make sure those tyres are up to temperature. And remember, there's no overtaking until the timing line. Stay in position until the green flags.
got some options for you, so go... we go back into the race perfect job on the turn in there mate looks like a nice stop time we're happy with that one look after these tires now we want to finish the race on this compound
fantastic drive. That's just fantastic. Amazing. You deserve that race win. Well done, mate. have pulled it off. They've won in spectacular fashion here today. Tell me, Ant, how do they manage to achieve this win? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the McLaren team, and I'm very happy to see them there on that top step of the podium. So there we have it. For the first time in a while, I actually showed you um, the first part, first version of the race before I restarted. Although it has been a while since I restarted a race. Um, I did it in Portugal in the last race. Um, but I think the last time I did it before that must have been the season before. Uh, and I don't think I've done it since. Uh, it doesn't matter in the end. We do get P1. Although, by two seconds only, so... Did it benefit us? Absolutely it did. Um, do I regret it? Morally, yes. Championship-wise, no. Of course not. Um, especially now that we're 69 points behind Max. Ahead of Max, sorry. Um, nice. Um, so, going... Taking that with four races to go, pretty good. And yeah, once again, uh, can't beat Max yet, obviously. He, um, got a couple of races left to go before that happens. But we can take the lead of the constructors, which would be pretty good. Need 31 points over Red Bull, though, um, so it's unlikely. So we'd have to, we'd have to look at that for... Mexico, not Mexico, Vegas, um, but that is that for today, hope you enjoyed, if you did, join me again for Canada uh, in the next episode, and if you enjoyed Canada, why not check out my channels, this one, Twitch, VODs, and the behind the scenes, uh, and if you have any thoughts and opinions, why not comment down, uh, yes, the video, comment down below. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.